welcome back to another video so oneplus is rolling out a new update for oneplus 9rt which is based on oxygen os 13 before starting that video i would like to thank everyone for all your wishes and prayers wife have recovered pretty well after the surgery surgery was also good i just wanted to update you guys about the same thing in the video slight pain is there but that can be easily managed using painkillers and few injections yesterday she got discharged and now she is pretty much fine so once again thank you so much for all your lovely wishes and support and now let's start the video of oxygen os 13 for oneplus 9rt Okay, so here we have our OnePlus 9RT on which I've already installed Oxygen OS 13 first open beta. First of all, let me show you the software information by going to about section. Here you can see device name is OnePlus 9RT. If you see Android version, Android version is 13. And this is first Oxygen OS open beta for OnePlus 9RT which comes with 5th September 2022 security patch. Going to version, version is F.07. And if you guys are willing to install Oxygen OS 13, then what you have to do is first you have to download the zip file from the given description. Once you download, there are possibilities that file format might be in .jar format. You need to rename the extension, remove .jar from the end and the file should appear in .zip format. After that, just go to about section followed by version. Tap on the build number seven times until you see you are a developer now. After that, go to update section. Tap the three dots present on right top corner. From here, select local upgrade and choose the file. The installation process might take around seven to eight minutes. Once it's done, you can reboot your device. And now talking about the update guys as it's in beta phase so there are possibilities that you might encounter some or the other bugs so i won't recommend anyone to flash it on your primary phone but for testing purpose you guys can proceed so basically you'll see a lot of changes in the ui segment when it comes to oxygen os 13 there are a lot of new implementation we have already covered most of the new stuff of oxygen os 13 but this video is specific for oneplus 9rt users who have been using oxygen os 12 on their devices first talking about the launcher so launcher you guys won't see much of difference because oneplus 9rt already came with color os code base and it had this similar launcher slight minor changes have been done you get this pop-up section now instead of the full screen section when you make changes in things like swipe down to home screen and for the oneplus shelf we have a new gesture which can be triggered from the section which i told you launcher settings this is slightly redesigned and oneplus shelf section also comes with some additional widgets and these widgets can also be applied on the home screen so if you are on the home screen just long press on the home screen and here you can see you get an add icon from here you can select the widgets from oneplus shelf which can be applied on the home screen for example weather sports event notes clock etc and other than that we also have default widgets so long pressing on the home screen here you can see you have an option of widgets and from here you can choose widgets for any specific application talking about camera so let's go to camera application and here slight ui changes can be seen we do get the support of long exposure dual video pro mode macro etc and as you all know we do the in-depth testing of every new build for oneplus smartphones so very soon i'll come up with a in-depth video of oxygen os 13 open beta 1 for oneplus 9rt now talking about the quick setting tiles so here also you'll see a lot of changes done compared to oxygen os 12 we do get horizontal tiles for example by default set to wi-fi and sim card but you can anytime change that just by going to edit tiles and guys i have made a dedicated video in explaining all the changes between oxygen os 12 when oxygen os 13 i'll leave all the related videos in the description below make sure to check them out we also have a now playing card which will show you the music details being played on your device from here you can make changes in the songs and here we also have an option of active application similar to what we have seen on google stock android so if there is any application running in the background you can just tap on active app and here we have the application from where you can stop that particular app also guys a lot of users had been waiting for wallpaper based color theming on oxygen os and now oneplus have introduced this feature along with that they have also introduced the feature called themed icon which can be found in the icon settings here just tap on customs scroll down and there we have an option called match wallpaper color it's still in beta phase not all applications are being supported and do not expect every app to support in the upcoming builds because oneplus 10 pro is running oxygen os 13 stable build and that also doesn't have the support of all the applications gradually we might get to see the support of all the applications 
also there is no scout feature now instead of that we do have the global search feature but that can be triggered only from the oneplus shelf you can't trigger the global search feature from the app drawer from here we can only search the applications which are present on your device and now talking about the wallpaper based theming part first of all you won't see any kind of changes in the app drawer let's go to settings here there are a lot of changes done things are pretty well segregated now icons are colorful instead of that only outline we used to see on oxygen os 12 and if you go to wallpapers and style section here we have an option of wallpaper color picking so depending on the wallpaper you can pick the colors also you get the option to select the color from the wallpaper but if you don't want system will automatically select and you just have to tap on ok now device has adapted to the wallpaper base color so talking about display i think these three modes were already present if i'm not wrong because it's been long time i did not use the oneplus 9rt so here we have three different modes under dark mode called enhance which will give you the pitch dark theme then medium kind of grayish and gentle which will give you that exact gray color background you get to see this thick brightness slider exactly similar to what we get to see in quick setting tiles or the notification panel also you will get to see this new world clock in the clock application and there are two different gestures to stop the alarm clock one is with the button and the second one is the gesture and also guys one more thing which i forgot to mention if you go to wallpapers and style section here we have a new implementation of wallpaper which is called Blossom wallpaper and this works with your digital well-being data and seeding grows as per your usage. So here you can set the goal for your usage. The minimum time what we have here is 2 hours and maximum up to 22 hours. So depending on your usage pattern the seeding will grow and if you exceed the usage time the seeding will die. I wasn't expecting this wallpaper to be added on other OnePlus smartphone. I thought this is exclusive for OnePlus 10 Pro. Now let's talk about some of the customization options so which can be found here wallpapers and style before it was I think personalization and now it has been renamed to wallpapers and style. Talking about always on display which brings a new add-on called contextual info. Though it is not working with applications like Zomato and Swiggy but Spotify do works on the lock screen. So for example if Swiggy again Zomato gets the support you can see all the details of your order like how much time it is arriving on the lock screen itself I mean to say always on display later they also optimize the bitmoji feature but you guys let me know how many of you guys use the bitmoji feature I personally don't use and few changes have been done under canvas AOD also I guess basically it works good with human portraits so here you can see we get more color options along with that you can choose custom colors to edit the canvas AOD for styles also there are a lot of options present now and then we have this eraser stuff using which you can erase any extra border which is present which you don't want it to appear on the home screen then also omoji have been optimized again i don't use this feature but might be useful for some users then there's another new clock style added which gives you few information about global warming for example how much one degree up and down can affect our planet Inside clock have been optimized but we'll get to know once we start using the device as a primary phone. Rest everything remains same. We have 5 system provided clock styles. Other than that I don't find any new add-ons. I think clock styles also remain same. If you go to special features there's a kids space added so if you have kids around you you can give them your device with limited accessibility or with selected application. And guys one thing which I forgot to mention now on Oxygen OS 13 we do get the support of flexi window or you can call it as side panel. From where you can access few of the applications and if you want to add more you can do that also and if you open any application from here that application do appears in floating windows guys to check out all the features of oxygen os 13 make sure to check out the videos given in the description below if you guys can wait for few days i'll come up with the in-depth review in which i'll talk about all the issues which i encounter during my usage so stay tuned for that so guys as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys gonna like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day